don't have to be that chef, that Nazi chef, to be a good leader. You know, uh, at some point, you know, if if you raise your voice constantly, well, when you really need something to get done, it probably doesn't mean anything. You know, if you're always yelling, if you're always screaming, if you're always just, you know, just digging in the cook's asses, you know, like, so you have to kind of dial it back and really decide how you want to be perceived. And more importantly, what you're expecting from these people. Your staff in many ways are like your children. In many, many ways. So you have to first change yourself and decide what goals do I have for them? What goals do I have to help them? All right. And then what goals do I have for myself so I can always make sure that I'm not that Nazi chef, that I'm always encouraging, that I'm always leading, that I'm not the boss. So you have to first decide what do you want to change in yourself. And in my case, it's like, it's like deciding what's your new mission. Your new mission is that you want to lead, that you want to get people into this place where they can look at you or look at what you're sharing or look at what you're teaching or more important, that they can look at the culture that you've created in that kitchen. Because when guys come into my kitchen, from the high school kid to my wife, to my kids, to her coming in to interview, the one thing is you can see that there's, some, I call it the hum. You know, we're like, there's not a lot, there's not a lot of noise in the kitchen. And that's not because I'm beating people up or it's because of fear. It's because everything's working. Everything's humming. Everything's going the way it's supposed to. And that's because I've decided once I decided what kind of leader I wanted to be, that I then decided what kind of culture do I want to create. And the culture is a direct result of the leader. How am I going to make it so that everyone else can see and feel and be a part of that thing that I'm creating, that culture, that home? Because if you're actually being that kind of leader, that means they're actually doing a great job. And if they're doing a great job, that means I'm free to create more opportunities. I'm free to teach. I'm free to encourage. I'm free to do the things that make them want to be a part of our culture. And instead of wanting to leave, they want to stay. Mm -hmm. And I think that's very, very important because people don't leave their jobs. They leave their bosses. Don't be a boss.